The internet and mobile media concentration is very eclectic, I would say. It pulls in students who write content, it pulls in students interested in post-production, pulls in students who direct and produce. So it's very eclectic in the sense that I think the mission is to create a breed of student and professional who can deal with an eclectic and rapidly changing media industry. I looked at a bunch of different film schools um, across the country and Columbia kept popping up. I kind of always wanted to do the bigger city kind of feel. The TV department here looked much better than film to me for what I do. I never really wanted to work on features, it just didn't interest me. I've always been sort of like a smaller content kind of person, so TV seemed like the obvious choice. Since high school, I've been interested in television. At first, my major was accounting, but then all of my friends were in television, so then I used to always hang out with them and be in their videos, and I was like, oh, I kind of like this. So I'm gonna go to a good school where they really focus on that, and Columbia, which is home for me, because it's in the city, I decided to go there. The internet mobile concentration is a lot of fun. It allows you to kind of look deeper within yourself and to study what's happening, not only now, but what's emerging. The expectation of you know, people coming into Columbia right now is that um, you know, a story is told not just on television, but that story will spill out across multiple platforms. So if you already are beginning to sense as a, as a, as a student or a transfer that um, you know, stories are told in rich, lush, lush and kind of limitless ways across multiple platforms, then, then you're the person that may want to explore this kind of experimental or expanding area. Since the internet and mobile media concentration is so new, there are so many opportunities that weren't at Columbia at all before. If you want to make smaller content just for the web, um, it didn't seem like there was a lot of opportunities. Like there was the frequency stuff, but that was still a little bit bigger content. But if you wanted to put together like a small team and go shoot a web series, there wasn't really a place, like a creative hub in the TV department to let that happen. But Internet and mobile media is, I mean, the future of TV. I think some things hold true uh, since I've been here, and I think this is still the case. Students should expect to hit the ground running very much from their first semester and even their first week. They will be handed some cameras. They will be asked to start coming up with character ideas and story ideas. So they need to be ready to fully jump in, even if they're terrified. Perhaps even better if they're terrified because all bets are off then and you're a little bit more creatively free, I think, when you're a little bit scared. And then the other thing they need to expect is that they're going to have to learn a little bit of everything because the industry is changing so quickly that your best foot in the door might be far afield from where you eventually want to end up. Our aim is to train and nurture uh, individual voices of students across multiple platforms. So we teach um, you know, the fundamentals through the core curriculum of television production and writing and development. And then we extend that knowledge specifically into the areas of internet and mobile. Specifically, I think the biggest thing that I've gained has been like the ability to work with a lot of other students who may be coming from different backgrounds, different like skill sets, being able to lead and direct a group of people, um, which I hadn't really had a lot of experience in before. I would just say it's okay to be nervous and maybe a little scared in the beginning, but as long as you find yourself to be comfortable with accepting feedback and critique and being able to learn in the process instead of just, you know, being closed off from everything, you should be fine. You might actually have fun. If you come in and you think that what you're doing in your class is like the only thing that you're allowed to do for that period of time, that's not the case. Like, people don't realize how understanding that these teachers, these professors are working in the real world, like they have these real connections and a lot of people just ignore that. So I would say talk and network with all your professors nonstop, work on what you really like doing and then find ways to apply that to your school. The skill sets that we give students here are useful um, anywhere in the world and that's really important to me because I want to see our students graduate and be celebrated in their, in, in their workflow as well, in their work life.